So we had a unique opportunity as Jeep engineers to work on the Jeep truck program. Uh, we were able to bring back this, this iconic truck back to market to make it the most capable mid-sized truck ever, building on a rich heritage of dependable and durable Jeep trucks with class-leading payload of 1,600 pounds and trailer tow of 7,650 pounds, which provides our customers the ability to tow and haul their goods where others can only dream of. The powertrain team's done a great job with the 3.6 liter Pentastar upgrade. They've made the powertrain more efficient. It is currently rated to 285 horse and 260 pound feet of torque. The engine is uh, matched with either the automatic, the eight speed automatic transmission or the six speed manual transmission. Every Jeep truck will have a standard four wheel drive system. The Rubicon's equipped with the Rock Track 4 to 1 T case. The axles are the Dana 44 solid that have been upgraded for the truck loads. Um, the Rubicon comes standard with rear and front locking differentials. The front on Rubicon also has sway bar disconnect. And finally, the Rubicon has a 410 to 1 uh, rear axle ratio. That combined with the T-Case gives an amazing crawl ratio that you know just kills the segment at 84 to 1 for the manual and 77 to 1 crawl ratio for the automatic. So with that, the approach and departure angle is a best in class 43.6 degrees on the front. It's a best in class 26 degrees in the rear. We introduced the five foot box on the, on the Jeep truck. Developing the box was naturally a key aspect of the development process. We determined that from a customer perspective, the things that they want to put in the box, motorcycles, dirt bikes, it was important to get at least 48 inches of width and we were able to accomplish that. The forward facing camera is an interesting feature that the uh, inspiration for was our customer, the Jeep enthusiast. We want to provide another innovative tool for the Jeep enthusiast that they can use to have a great time while they're off-roading their vehicle to get over any obstacle. So now the off-road camera gives you those eyes. With the Jeep truck being out of market for such a long period of time, what we wanted to do early up front is set a best-in-class target for these key characteristics. So from a payload perspective and a towing perspective, it was important to us to come back to market in a legitimate way. Jeep Gladiator. Long history, obviously, in, in Jeep world for pickup trucks. We haven't had one for a, quite a while. A lot of inspiration, honestly, came from the first little pickup truck that was done, I think, 1947. It was the Willys pickup truck. Historically, some of the styling elements that come into play here are the, the very slab sides, round headlights, vertical seven slot grille, of course, and the flares are added to the vehicle but the crew cab is an important piece because it really that signals it's more for recreational use than the way a truck is used in a commercial use. The cargo bed on the truck, honestly, uh, has a lot of little features packed into it. The payload is 1,600 pounds. We kept the top of the cargo box quite low, so you can reach over and get to cargo, uh, even on a Rubicon, which is essentially lifted. An available spray-in bed liner from the factory there's imprints from a motorcycle tire on the front of the box, which is just sort of park your bikes here, that's where they go. And then the tailgate's unique in that the brake light had to be integrated into the tailgate handle. Couldn't put it on the roof because of course the roof comes off. Uh, there's also a backup camera back there. And we got very proud of the Jeep name and it's very large and, and very imposing on the back of the vehicle. What I'm most proud of on this project is finally getting it done. The fact that we uh, are doing it the Jeep way, it's always four-wheel drive, you can open the vehicle up, pull the roof off, doors off, all that. The payload, this has a higher payload, towing capacity. People want to take toys, uh, dirt bikes, tow ATVs, a boat. We wanted to make sure that when you see it, 
that's a Jeep pickup. It's a recognizable silhouette. Even though it's brand new, we haven't had this vehicle before, it's totally recognizable. I love that. The Jeep Gladiator is a vehicle that we know customers have been waiting for us to make. And so we think that um, all of the thoughtfulness that we've put into the interior offers the customer something that they've always wanted in a pickup truck but has never been available to them. Uh, for example, you will never find another pickup truck that offers the open air freedom that only a Jeep can offer, you know, doors off, top off. Um, is something that is absolutely unique to the Gladiator. And we wanted to make sure that we not only captured that uh, desire, but we also still dove into the interior and created something that customers could use uh, from a functional standpoint. The Gladiator is about functionality, it's about how you use it, it's about your lifestyle. And so uh, the rear seat offers lots of different solutions uh, in terms of storage, functionality, different ways to use the truck, different ways to put your gear in there and to move it around. The great thing about it is that the seat is lockable, so when the seat is in a position, you can lock it, so it's, it's nice locked storage. When you are out exploring and you've got the doors off, you've got the roof off, you still have your items in there and they're secured and you don't have to worry. In the other position, the stadium position, the cushions fold up into another position. And what that does is it exposes the storage underneath the seat, which is divided also in a 60-40 uh, configuration to match the seats. So if you have just the 40 side folded up, you can lift up the, the uh, lid to the bin as well. Um, the bin in its standard configuration is an open bin, but it is available with a locking feature that includes a lid, which allows you to, again, have more locked storage in the interior. But the way it's divided, you know, you can have up to five dividers in there, so you can really compartmentalize it for different smaller items, or you can open it all up and have space for, you know, fishing rod, yoga mat, backpacks, food, other gear. You know, whatever you're into, we've got a place for your stuff. It's not every day that you get to be a part of something that is truly going to be this sort of object of desire, if you will. And you can imagine that as the Jeep brand, we you know, create vehicles that inspire people to take adventures and to try new things. And the Gladiator is a very special part of that story. You know, it is something that for years to come, people will be talking about how their Gladiator allowed them to do this, or they took the doors off and they went here. And they, you, know, you can just imagine all the stories that people will tell around the campfire about them and their Jeep Gladiator. Jeep has a long history with trucks. Uh, it's almost as long as the, the CJ series goes back. First trucks were introduced in 1947, and up until 1987, there was a continuous line of at least one model of Jeep being produced. The most iconic Jeep truck is probably the Gladiator from the early 1960s. It's got that round or oval rhinoceros grill that they called it. It was just a, a tough, strong looking vehicle. The Gladiator and the J series were built from 1963 up until 1987, so I think that's what people are most familiar with. The Jeep pickup that was built from 1947 to 1965, it really stood out because it looked like the Willys wagon. It looked like the other Jeeps that were being built at the time with the flat fenders. Um, it really fit with the, the line of Jeeps that were being produced. Um, and I think a lot of people you know, remember those and it's, it's kind of a nostalgic vehicle. Willys Overland expanded beyond the CJ series in the trucks because they knew that there was a market for them. There was work vehicles, uh, there was a Willy wagon that they had. So they really wanted to expand all along their product lineup. And they did a really good job bringing out the 47 pickup truck. It was available in two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, a state truck, or you could get a cab chassis. 
So it was really a dedicated work truck. Uh, they didn't even really name it. Uh, they called it the 463 when it came out, but it was just known as the Jeep truck. And uh, it had the same reputation that it could go anywhere, do anything like the rest of the Jeep models. I think the new Gladiator, uh, it really harkens back to those Jeep trucks. You know it's a Jeep when you see it, like all the other trucks. And obviously it has the, the workload, the work ethic that all the other Jeep vehicles had. So I think it's something we can be really proud of calling the Gladiator name again.